Hello students, welcome to the next lecture on the June 2023 Mathematics. Today we will discuss about the calculus of variation questions. Myself Dr. Harishkar, you can simply follow my YouTube channel Dr. Harishkar where you can find the various videos. Otherwise you can simply scan and join my WhatsApp group where we have discussed the various problems day to day. What you will be found on my YouTube channel, there is a playlist of the CSR UGC net where you can find the real analysis question, complex analysis, uh, re linear algebra, inner product space question, question ID of this June 2023. Also, you can see about the P by questions from the year 11 to 23 of the various topics in my video. So let's start with this video. So since it is a part of the calculus of variation, so as I told you in the various steps, uh, whenever you have the function of the A to B, then you can see the solution is always be here. This is called as the euler lagrange equation. If your this function is independent of the x and y, then the solution will always of this form. And when this function is independent of x only, then you can write here. So remember this tips, this second tips is very useful. And one question in this year is also asked based on here. So let's start with this video. The first question is here. You can see which of the following statement is correct. This is the part B. Only one correct option is there. Now if you look about that, if I try to solve this problem with the help of here, you need to find the partial derivative with respect to y. How you find the partial derivative of this with respect to y? So you have to apply the uv, that is y over mod y, plus 1 into mod y. This is the first method. Otherwise, instead of this, you can simply uh, express this function as of this. What is the mod y? It can be positive, it can be negative. If it is a positive, then this is my expression. If it is a negative, then this is my expression fine now we can try to solve in the both way and let's see what will be the final answer so what is the cauchy euler equation is if i call this is my f then partial derivative of f with respect to y minus here is zero so let's start with here firstly partial derivative with respect to y minus 2y y dash plus x minus partial derivative with respect to y dash fine is 0 so if I open this bracket minus 2y dash plus x minus 2y double dash minus minus plus 2y y dash is 0 so this part will be cancelled out so y double dash is minus plus x over 2 so look at this second part if I try to write this solution here so what is that? Partial derivative with respect to y. So it will be my 2 with respect to y. 2y y dash plus x minus partial derivative of 2y dash plus of y square is 0. If I open this bracket 2y y dash plus x minus 2y double dash minus 2y y dash is 0. Again, you can see it's a cancel out the same expression you can obtain from here. Now, what will happen if I write this? Can you find the solution? If I simply say x square by 4 plus x square by 4 plus c1, what is the y, uh, what is the y? If I take integration again, you will get as a x cube divided by 12 plus c1x plus c2. Same from here. Now you can put that y1, y of 0 is 0. What is the meaning of that? C2 will be 0. y of 1 is 0. What is the meaning of that? 0 is 1 over 12 plus C1 is 0. C1 is my minus 1 over. So what will be my solution? So solution is x cube minus x over 12 is the solution of this problem. And you can see there is no arbitrary constant here. So it gives you a unique solution. So y is equal to 0 only solution cancel, no extremal solution cancel is a unique solution and not identical to 0 is the correct option. Infinite many solution is the wrong answer because there is no C1 and C2 involved in this. So it has a unique solution. Look at the second example, which is the question ID 99. Again, the problem are there. Now, if you look about this function, y dash square plus z dash square plus y dash so look at that this function is independent of x and y x and z because it's a two variable so look at that my shortcut tips for you if this function is independent of the x and y 
then the solution is always in the form of y is ax plus b. In this example, there is a solution of the y and z. So what will be my solution? Solution is ax plus b and for the z, I call it the cx plus of d because z, x, y and z are dependent upon the x. Now look at that. y of 0 is 0. y of 1 is 0. y of 0 is 0. What is the meaning of that? y of 0 is my 1. So what is the meaning of that? b is my 1. y of 1 is my 0. What is the meaning of that? 0 is a plus b is here. So a is my minus 1. So solution will be 1 minus x. Look at this case. z of 0 is my minus 1. So what is that? d is my minus 1 z of 1 is my 2. So what is my c? c is nothing but my 3. So thus z is my 3x minus 1 is the right answer. Now look at that. Firstly we can take y plus z. What is my y plus z is my 2x. Fine. So this option is cancelled. This is the correct option. Now you can say z plus 3y. So you can see if I multiply this by 3 and add them to the z what will happen 3x will be cancelled so 3 minus 1 is my 2 z plus 3y is the right answer this is the wrong answer so correct options are a and c are my correct options of this example that's a very simple remember this is the simple shortcut tricks is always for you you may also see that this kind of the shortcut tricks as i already explained in my py questions of the calculus of variation which is available in my here you can see py question of the calculus of variation part 1 py question of the calculus of variation from the year 11 to 23 in my playlist here so i already explained the various tricks for solving this in this video okay look at this next video next question this is the question number 98 how you can solve so what is my f is y square minus 4 y dash plus 4 y dash square now you can start with this partial derivative of here is my 0 so what is the partial derivative with respect to y is so 2y minus 4y dash minus partial derivative with respect to this 4y plus 8y dash is 0 so if i open this bracket it's a 2y minus 4 dash minus minus plus 4y dash minus 8y double dash is 0. So what is that? This will be cancelled out. So y double dash minus 1 by 4y is equal to 0. Fine. So what is that? This is nothing but my constant coefficient. m square minus is 0. So what is my solution? y is equal to c1 e of half x plus c2 e of minus half x. Fine. Now what is given to you? y of 0 is 1. What is the meaning of that? C1 plus C2 is my 1. Y dash of 0 is my half. So if you take the derivative, it will be my C1 by 2 minus C2 over 2 is my half. So what is the meaning of that? C1 plus C2 is 1. C1 minus C2 is 1. So if you solve them, C1 is 1, C2 is my 0. So what is my solution? Solution is my C1 is my 1 is a E of half x. Fine. Now you have to check whether it's a convex or concave. How you can check that? You can find the double derivative. If it is a greater than 0, then it's a convex. Otherwise concave. What is the second derivative of this? So second derivative is 1 by 4 and which is a greater than 0 always because exponential can never be negative. So this is my convex it is odd. So once it's a convex you can see x1 plus x2 so what is that e of half x1 plus x2 it can be written as half x1 into half x2 so y x1 y x2 this is the correct option. If I start from the product so which is not equal to the sum of this it's a cancel right options are 1 and 3 are my correct option of this example. So these are the three questions which is related to this is the question related to the 4.75. This is the question related to the 4.75. And this is the question related to my 3 marks. 
so you can see you can easily get these question answers within a fraction of second if you watch my previous py questions of the calculus of variation easy man so we will see the next lecture i hope you can simply learn this we will see the next lecture on the integral equations of the june 2023 till then you can simply like share and comment on my videos best of luck students happy learning always